so this is the next video in our series about distributed log tracing system last video we have seen all about the spring cloud sleuth how we can add this in our spring boot microservices and how the request is being trashed uh, how the request is troubling through different microservices and we have also seen how we can track that using trash id and span id we have seen all of this but the way we have looked was a bit difficult and tracking we were searching individually right so in this video i am going to explain you about i am going to introduce you the jipkin which is taking the log information and all these information from the spring cloud sleuth services and will show you the nice user interface where we can see a lot of information at uh, user interface okay so let's go ahead and see the what is this all about and then we will see the demo what is jipkin jipkin is distributed tracing system it gathers timing information it helps in troubleshooting latency problems latency problems means the time uh, if you have s1 s2 s3 your request is traveling through here here and how much time it is taking so you have timing information so you can track on that basis uh, if at, for individual for any any point of time it is taking uh, taking too much time and that is unexpected you can get that information that which service is taking more time and what is the problem you can debug that what are the features so this is for lookup of data logs that you have as well as it is storing the lay, storing the logs so the logs that is generated by a different application s1 s2 s3 s4 so these are generating some logs if jipkin jipkin is jipkin is here and it is taking the input from log information is the input for the jipkin so you can look up the data from the logs that is there and also jipkin provides the facility to store the those logs that is coming from here so that uh, if it is uh, restarted or in later time you can look up the data uh, data from the past storage and look up both facilities provided by jipkin so you can query the data using the trash id i hope you know about this at this point of time trash id is uh, generated created by the spring cloud sleuth so you can query the data by the service name which service is involved and if you want to see the logs about generated by particular service you can do that you can query by the operation name you can query by the tags you can query by the durations that if you have s1 s2 s3 4 and other number of services you can look up by the timing uh, right uh, suppose uh, you want to track the request which are taking 5 millisecond time so you can mention that 5 millisecond time so all the requests that are taking 5 millisecond times will be uh, shown in the user interface right dependency diagram also this is the cool feature that I, I love the most so at particular point of time so if you have s1 s2 s3 s4 and you have request that is connecting s1 s2 and s3 you have request that is connecting only these three services so in dependency diagram you can see this diagram that how many services are involved in a particular time so if in other time s4 s5 is also coming into picture so if you expand your search criteria then only you will see the connection between s4 and s5 in a particular time interval how many services are being interacting so you can see that in dependency diagram these these things that i am explaining will make much more sense when we will be seeing the demo okay so how it is doing all of these steps application need to be instrumented to report trash data to jipkin right so how it is going to get the data and how is all of this happening so when act your actual request is going s1 s2 s3 these are the services actual request is going from year to year so there should be some other agent which is monitoring this uh, request that where it is going and how much information it is taking so that agent oh, which tracking the request is uh, something in technical term called your code is being instrumented right to report trash data to jipkin so there are tracer or instrumentation libraries so this spring cloud sleuth is one of many other libraries so spring cloud sleuth is basically instrumenting your code right so it is doing that in such a way that it it itself 
is not introducing some latency information into these requests right there are many other libraries that are out there right so tracer and instrumentation is collected at on each host the instrumented library is sent to jepkin when the host makes a request to another application it passes a few tracing identifiers along with the request to jepkin so we can later tie the data together into spans right so span and trace i explained you in the previous video so these are the officially supported instrumentation libraries c hash go java different language specific libraries right? and other such community supported so if i come to java cassandra and java here a spring cloud sleuth right so this is coming under community supported options right so we have http and messaging right so http request spring cloud stream compatible rabbit mq and all this information so sampling supported java 7 or higher so what next this is the architecture of the jipkin how it works right so this 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 part is the jipkin and this is the this is these things are your application right your individual microservices and this instrumented client and this instrumented reporter reporter is that sleuth right so which is reporting the which is reporting the data to jepkin and these are the transporters how they are going to jepkin right so this is the collector and if you want to store you can configure this storage and it can store the, into the database and then you can uh, push the same data to api and then user interface from here you can query the individual information that you want so this is optional whether you want to store the logs or not or you want to display the runtime logs that is being uh, pushed to jepkin so this is optional so in the demo part we will first see it uh, the running logs then we will move ahead and see how we can configure the storage part okay so this is all about the basics about jepkin okay so next video i will be showing you how you can use jepkin with the spring cloud sleuth so i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye